RCMP says they are investigating a series of incidents in which 59 bus transit shelters were vandalized over the last few months. Presuming that it's just uh, somebody's version or uh, idea of fun, uh, which obviously for us isn't that isn't that uh, that fun. We have to clean up the mess. We have to incur the costs with taxpayer dollars to fix them. But uh, you know, that's that's my guess is that someone thinks that this is their idea of a good time. Maybe they uh, they need to find a new hobby. The city estimates it has spent over fifty thousand dollars to replace the damaged glass during an incident on Rutland Road in the late evening of January twenty second. A witness reported an old model blue Nissan or Toyota car driving slowly past a bus shelter. The witness then heard what sounded like a high powered air gun being fired and the glass in the bus shelter shattered. Really consider other people's, uh, you know, the impact you're having on others. Transit shelters are provided so that people have a comfortable place to wait for the bus during inclement weather. And then also that uh, there are um, taxpayers are incurring the cost to fix these transit shelters up. So, you know, really, like I said, just think about other people and the, the effect that you're having on them. Back in December 2020, BC Transit bus shelters along Lakeshore Road were also targeted by vandals. Approximately 10 transit shelters along Lakeshore Road, Gordon Drive and Springfield Road were damaged. Anyone with information on these incidents is urged to contact Kelowna RCMP. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Earhart in Kelowna.